Do you need money to do ministry? Next on the Metal Pulpit. Thanks for joining me. You know, I'm actually wasn't going to do a podcast this week because I'm feeling a little under the weather. I've had uh, hernia surgery this week, actually last Friday, and uh, my body's still adjusting to all of that. But um, then I got an email and one that got me thinking a little bit, one that I guess you would say called me out because um, I've been a pastor at on staff at a church. I've only been at two churches, but for about 23, 24 years. And this is a topic that hits home to me. And so I want to talk about, do you need money for ministry? You see, I got a message from another pastor that means very well, but it was a message that said, we are uh, wanting to launch youth ministry in our city. And to do it, we need $12,000 for staff and $12,000 to upgrade our facilities. Can you help? Okay, where do I begin with this? <clears throat> if you're a pastor of a church, there are expenses that come with it, okay? If you're renting or own a building, you obviously need to keep it up. You need to take care of it just like you would a house. And so there are expenses that go into doing ministry to have a ministry because if you neglect it, like your house, it's going to cost more. So yes, there are expenses that go with it. Now... <laughs> To do ministry requiring that kind of money isn't necessarily a route you need to go. Let me explain. All of my time in ministry has never come easy. The first church I served at, I was the youth pastor. We didn't have a youth room. When the church finally decided to purchase a new building, which I wasn't totally hep to, it didn't have a youth building. It, there, was, there was no youth room. In fact, we had to take three of the classrooms that were in this old building and rip walls down and convert it into a youth room. It worked, but before that, we met in the sanctuary of this 100-year-old building. It was just an old building, and uh, we made the most of it. And we were proof that you didn't need a lot of money to do ministry. In fact, this is the church was about, oh, right around 90 people on a good Sunday, and the youth group sprung from 12 to 85 kids in a few short years. Fast forward a couple of years, and here we are in a new city where I was hired to be the youth pastor. Again, youth ministry, we didn't have a youth room. It was a small building that we have. Uh, there was no youth room. There was a kid's ministry room, but we didn't have a place to meet. Well, once again, we started with about five kids, and... Um, Within a year, our outreach events, kids were, there was close to about 60, 70 kids that were coming faithfully to our outreach events. You see, what I'm saying is that we don't need to equate funds with ministry. You need funds to keep up what you have, but in order to reach a new group to say, I'm, we're going to start a youth ministry and we're going to uh, need to sink thousands of dollars into it, what you need to do is sink a lot of love into it, a lot of understanding, an ice cream cone, a foosball table, um, make a, make, set up some arcade games, some, some video games. You don't need a lot of money. When we started our biggest outreach ministry that's been ongoing for years now, we didn't say we need thousands of dollars to do this. No, the fact of the matter is we spent $500 for the trailer to pull everything we need, and we're using a donated town and country Chrysler van. <laughs> And this thing, it was a converted mail truck, so it's not much to look at. And we're, we're effective. Ministry is happening. Things are happening. People are being blessed. Just this last week, um, I wasn't able to be there due to recovery from surgery, but the, we went out and did this. Uh, group was sent out, and they, they, did, they had a fantastic time of ministry. You see, big and boom and pow and all of that stuff for ministry, the big bombastic ministries that we have, they're okay. It's all right. But if you're starting up a ministry, if you're going to build it off of video games or your pool table or the latest, greatest tech stuff, it's going to be a shallow ministry. It really is. 
But if you can get a couple adults and some uh, college age kids that can come alongside and say, let's do something where we're just going to uh, show other teams that we love them. We, we want to hear them. We want to help them out. Um, you know, stuff like that. That's where ministry starts. It's not in sinking thousands of dollars into something. It's sinking your heart, your soul, your prayers, all of that into ministry. The rest will come over time. Let me know what you think. Email me, pastorbobadams at gmail.com. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.